Good evening, my name is Jose Luis Araux and I have the privilege to serve as principal of Rubido High School. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to our seniors and to the parents of our seniors, as well as to our community for your patience, your understanding, and your support during these unprecedented times. We are all on this together. We will overcome this challenge together and we will be stronger. I want to welcome you all to this pre-graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. Our official graduation will begin in about 15 minutes. Seniors, during the next few minutes, you will have the opportunity to see some of the wonderful activities and great moments you experienced during your time at Rubino. Memories that will last forever. From our heart and with the best of our intentions, seniors, parents, and Rubido High School community, this is for you. Enjoy. Class of 2020, even though the school year was cut short, there were many highlights and accomplishments that did occur that I hope you will be able to focus on. From great rallies and dances to athletic events and concerts, not to mention the time you were able to hang out with your friends, whether it was on long bus trips or just hanging out at lunch together. As I was preparing this, I was reminded that I was able to witness many of you laughing with each other, competing with each other, and most importantly, being kind to each other. As you watch this virtual graduation ceremony this evening, my hope is that you will be reminded of all the great times you had here at Rubido High School. Falcons, as your journey continues, remember to always soar with pride. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. I realize that this isn't exactly what you had in mind when you thought about this day, but here we are. When we talked about what we thought made the class of 2020 really special, we decided that the one thing that stood out for us is that the class of 2020 always steps up. You stepped up when you started the Mecha Club on campus. You have served in an incredible amount of leadership positions. You mentored younger students at surrounding schools. And when Ina Arbuckle Elementary was vandalized, your class made up over two thirds of the volunteers who worked to provide those students with an uplifting playground. Even now in the middle of this pandemic, we have seen the class of 2020 step up. We've been amazed at how many of you took up jobs to help your family, care for younger siblings, and provide for your older grandparents too. We've seen you balance all of this with online classwork and even with the stressful, confusing process of applying to college. As you move into this uncertain future, we're confident the class of 2020 is ready to step up again. Wherever life takes you, remember that we are proud of you, we are here for you, and we will always be cheering you on. Congratulations for your completion of the first part of your lives. I want to thank all of you for staying strong and doing what's right for everyone as far as safety is concerned. To all the student athletes, I am so proud to have been part of this year and I'm so sorry to all the seniors who lost their spring season. I would like to take a moment and highlight a few teams. Girls Cross Country League Champions, Girls Tennis League Champions, and CIF Semifinalists. Boys Basketball First Round Playoffs, Girls Basketball League Champions, CIF Semifinalists, and State Second Round. This is an unbelievable year in which we all are having memories for years to come. Celebrate your achievements and take one thing with you when you leave. You can take the kid from Rubido, but you can't take the Rubido out of the kid. Be well, be safe, and good luck in all your future endeavors. Rubido for life. of 2020, best of luck to you on your journeys. I know that the world out there looks big and a little bit scary and right now a whole lot of unknown. But as you leave here, don't forget the memories we've created, the good times you've had, the silliness in the quad, the lunchtime things, the football games, the 
awesome year the girls basketball team had and the boys basketball team and the playoff games we went to. All of those things create memories that will always be with you. And when you get scared or life seems a little overwhelming, come on home. We're always here for you. We just want to see you get out there and be everything that life can bring to you.
2020, you are graduating. Congratulations. I want to offer each and every one of you my personal congratulations on your graduation. Today, we are celebrating your graduation. Yes, I know, this is not the graduation you wanted, expected, or deserve. And I feel bad and sad about that and sad about the fact that you are foregoing many of the activities that are offered during your senior year. You are already making a great sacrifice to help our country and even more importantly, our community overcome the hardships of the novel coronavirus. Many of you are already making contributions by going to work and supporting your families or taking care of older adults and loved ones in your family, taking care of younger siblings, or doing so many of the things that society needs right now. I have great faith in you and know that coming of age during this time will forge your character and make you a great generation. Each year, I offer the same quote to graduates, and it goes like this. It is from St. Catherine of Siena. Become who God meant you to be, and you will set the world ablaze. I go on to say that may not be so easy. Finding your path is difficult. Standing up for what you believe and becoming true to yourself is very hard. You will have to overcome many obstacles. But I see already many of you are doing that. You are becoming who God meant you to be. You will become the next scientist who discovers the vaccine for the next virus. You will be the doctor prescribing the next cure for patients stricken ill with the next virus, or the next ICU nurse taking care of them, or the next manufacturer making gowns and masks to protect our people or a policeman or a teacher, or whatever role you choose in society, you and your generation will be great. And I commend you for that and congratulate you. God bless you and congratulations.
evening to all of you. My name is Aldo Jardines. As this year's salutatorian, it is my honor and pleasure to call to order the Rubro High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. On behalf of the students and staff of Rubro High School, I am pleased to welcome you to this historic virtual event. To the class of 2020, we did it. I know this is not the sort of ceremony that we were expecting, but the coronavirus was not expected either. But at least we were given a way to celebrate together in a virtual means. For many of you, you are the first in your family to graduate high school, first to go on to college even, and others follow in the footsteps of their per parents and pursuit of your dreams and higher education. Wherever we end up, I know that our driving vision will land us somewhere amazing. I noticed that spending more time participating in extracurriculars and trying new things has taught me things that are not taught in the normal school curriculum, such as teamwork, having the right attitude, and being able to push through tough challenges. It also gave me the opportunity to meet some of my best friends. I've come to realize that I really enjoyed coming to a school where I could learn and grow. So I want to thank my friends who have been on my side and shown me how to have fun. And also for the boys for putting all those nights trying to put a last minute essay together. I also want to thank all the teachers on campus for being more than teachers, but friends and a second family for some. Lastly, I want to thank my parents for the support and for pushing me to be the best I can be and for teaching me to be a hard worker. I hope for the best dealing with COVID-19 for everyone as well as your families and the best of luck in your futures. Thank you and congratulations class of 2020. Please, please stand for the presentation of colors and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Star Spangled Banner, sung by the Chamber Choir under the direction of Mr. Jeff Lynn. Please be seated. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet the land of the free and the home of the brave. Before I start, I hope you all are doing well as you face this pandemic. If you ever need anything or someone to talk to, just know I'm always available. Seniors, we did it. Feels like just yesterday, most of us were promoting for Mission Middle and I was right here, standing right in front of you, even if this is a virtual graduation. As your president for four plus years, I had the honor of witnessing the tremendous amount of growth within each and every one of you, always being proud of who you were no matter what. Sadly, from this day forward, I'll only be able to hear about how much you've grown. There's so much more for all of you after high school, and I mean that, no matter what career you pursue. Before my time is up, I want to say one last thing. Thank you, class of 2020 for inspiring me every day to do greater and achieve much more. Lastly, I'd like to thank Sister Squad, OG Pika, and my family for never giving up on me. This is Christian Torres, your ASB president, finally resigning. Soar high and always have a fucking pride. Now please welcome our principal, Dr. Jose Arax. I'd like to introduce our guests who will be on stage this evening. Ms. Silvia Ortega, president 
of Urupa Unified Board of Trustees. Ms. Linda Sharp, trustee of our Board of Education. Mr. Elliot Duchon, superintendent of the Hurupa Unified School District. Assistant principal, Mr. Todd Moore. Valedictorian, Ms. Selena Young. Salutatorian, Mr. Aldo Jardines. Senior class president, Ms. Stephanie Ureña. ASB president, Mr. Christian Torres. Before I address all of the seniors, I would like to give a special recognition to a group of a senior class. Congratulations to our Rubido Early College High School students. You have earned at least one year's worth of college credit. Amazing, fabulous job. Good evening. Tonight is a very special occasion. It is the result of years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance as we celebrate the great accomplishments of the class of 2020. It's been a journey that started more than 12 years ago. Tonight, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to, our, to your elementary and middle school teachers, as well as to all Rubido High School teachers, counselors, and staff members that have supported you during these four years at Rubido High School. Thank you for inspiring our graduates to try hard to solve problems and to make this world a better place. Graduates, you will face different challenges in your life. As a matter of fact, we are facing these unprecedented times. But together and united, our country will overcome this challenge and we will come out stronger as a society and as a human beings. It is our moments of struggles that define us. How we handle them is what really matters. Graduates, Dr. Martin Luther King said, whatever you, your life works is, do it well. A man should do his job so well that the living, the dead, and the unborn could do it no better. Therefore, once you find and decide to pursue your life's work, do it with passion, with dedication, with commitment to do your best, and most importantly, to enjoy what you decide to do. Thank you, parents and family members, for your support. And thank you for your commitment to the education of our students. Thank you for working with us to achieve our ultimate goal, a successful graduating class of 2020. Mi más sincero agradecimiento a las mamás, a los papás y a todos los familiares de nuestros graduados. Gracias por todo su apoyo. Gracias por trabajar con nosotros para lograr esta gran meta, la graduación de la generación del 2020. Señoras y señores, sí se pudo. Estoy muy orgulloso de mis alumnos. Graduates, I believe in you. I believe you will achieve your goals and your dreams will come true because we are the architects of our own destiny. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good evening, seniors and guests. I am Assistant Principal Todd Moore. I would now like to introduce your senior class president, Ms. Stephanie Urena, to announce this year's senior gift. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Ureña, the senior class president. I would like to first thank you all for being here, supporting your wonderful senior who is finally going to take an important step for a brighter future. As I stand here before you, class of 2020, I would like to thank you all for the memories we have created together and wish you the best as we go our separate ways. I am more than proud and fortunate of having to spend my last year of high school with each and every one of you. We have come a long way, our struggles, breakdowns, and challenges only allowed us to grow and become stronger than ever. Our senior year may have been cut short, but please always cherish the memories from the past four years. What a wonderful place our home, Rubida High School, has been. I would also like to thank Mr. Brett Robo for being our advisor, alongside his amazing wife, Mrs. Brianne Robo, 
Thank you to the both of you for supporting the senior class and becoming our school parents. We all love you very much and hope for the best in your future endeavors. Now, the senior class would like to leave behind a gift that we can be remembered by and that will benefit Rubido High School for many years to come. This year, we're going to give the school a special event that will allow students, staff, and family members to participate as soon as it has been allowed to do so. Also, the senior class decided to reward four seniors who have applied $500 scholarship that will brighten in the future. Thank you very much, parents, staff, and seniors for a wonderful year. Giving this year's senior address to the class of 2020 is your valedictorian. So it is with great pleasure that I welcome to the podium, Ms. Celine Yang. Good evening to the faculty, parents, relatives, and my fellow classmates. If you don't know who I am, my name is Celine Yang, and it is an honor to be speaking as the valedictorian of Rubido High School's graduating class of 2020. We are gathered here tonight to commemorate our graduation from not only high school, but also our teenage years. It's strange how four years can feel like four weeks, yet a week of school can feel like 10 years. But I applaud all of you for making it this far. Four years ago, we walked through the gates of Rubido High School, dreaming of this day, the day we graduate. Throughout the four years, we have created memories which we hold dear to our hearts. Many of us have found our lifelong friends, our high school sweethearts, and our passion in life. However, there are also many of us who have lost friends, had our hearts broken, and feel completely lost. But I want to remind you that we're barely 18, we're at the culmination of our youth, and what lies before us is a whole new, brand new experience, which is filled with wonderful opportunities and new experiences that are awaiting for us. Of course, this road will be a tough road, but at the end of that road will be happiness. After all, stars can't shine without a little darkness, and each and every single one of us are stars. With everything we've gone through these past four years, these past few months, with all the odds stacked against us, we have proven that we prevail in hardships. Speaking of which, many of the great figures we know today, like Martin Luther King Jr. and Cesar Chavez, were once ordinary people like us, once ordinary teenagers like us who were dealing with hardships. We all have our own histories, our own stories, and we'll make them known. We are all capable of bringing forth change, just like these great figures. We all have our own values, which we'll share with people that we meet. Each and every single one of us carries something special with us, and as we meet new people, we'll make a mark in their history. With that, I can confidently say that with the encounters that I shared with many of you, you have all been ingrained in my history in some way, and I'll carry bits of you in my memories to look back on when I think of your name. Finally, I would like to give a brief thank you to all of the teachers and staff at Roberto High School. Although these are difficult times, you have all done your best to accommodate to the situation and have provided us with great service these past four years and these past few months. I would also like to especially thank my teachers that I have had these past four years. Although some of your classes have made me go absolutely insane, I thank you for teaching me perseverance and hard work. It's really regretful that we all can't be together as a class of 2020, taking our graduation photos and saying our last goodbyes. But I hope you all know that from the bottom of my heart, I've enjoyed these past four years with you all. And I wish you all the best in your future endeavors as we embark on our new journey. I would like to finish off my speech with something that my English teacher told me in the last day of freshman year. With your worst setbacks, you'll have your greatest comebacks. With your worst breakdowns, you will have your greatest breakthroughs. And when people tell you to think outside of the box, remember that there is no box. Just do what makes you happy. Thank you. I would now like to draw your attention once again to the chamber choir. They will be singing The Road Home.
Hello, my name is Sylvia Ortega and I have the honor to be your Hoopa Unified School District Board President. 15 years ago, I too was graduating from JUSD and getting to this point for many of you was not easy. You have faced extreme challenges and most recently, many of the special events you deserved and worked very hard for, unfortunately, needed to be canceled and or postponed. I want you to know that you are the highlight of this event. Instead of us gathering in person, we gather here virtually to celebrate you and all your personal and academic achievements with safety and health as a high priority. On behalf of the Board of Education, we say congratulations. I also say to you and your family, I admire you. You have been disappointed with unmet expectations and here you are, you still showed up and still you gave it your all. And here you still are celebrating regardless of all the ups and all the downs. Something that I have learned in life and never fails to amaze me is how some people become stronger because of the valleys they go through. And you want to know something even more amazing is that we not only get to go through valleys, we live in one. Like for many of you, I grew up here in Herba Valley in Rivero and not very fond of school. In middle school, I got suspended and in high school, I got expelled. And ironically, here I speak before you as the president of the same school district where I got suspended and expelled. Yet this same school district gave me a second opportunity. I fell deeply in love with education and all that happened here in this incredible valley we get to call home. I wanted to remind you of your superpower, optimal education. Because after these challenging times, education will never be the same. I'm proud to call you the pioneers of a new generation of education. You taught us all that education goes above and beyond the classrooms. You embrace what Mark Twain once said, never let schooling interfere with your education. You've given learning without limits a whole new meaning, and we are very proud of all your accomplishments. The power of optimal education is yours. Now build from it. Students, I hope you never stop. Life was created for students just like you who turn adversity into resiliency. I trust that you will continue to be the student of life and make us all proud. Your family and your friends are looking up to you to lead with courage and compassion. Enjoy the journey, have fun, be healthy, and embrace all of life's challenges. And when they tell you the sky is the limit, you say no. With all due respect, the sky is only the beginning. Class of 2020, congratulations on your journey. Continue to learn, live, lead, and give without limits. Beat limitless. Once a falcon, always a falcon. Once a jaguar, always a jaguar. And once a warrior, always a warrior. Class of 2020, your vision is bright, so shine bright. And when you dream, dream even bigger. Don't ever forget you are your ancestors' wildest dreams come true. I thank you for allowing me to represent you as your school board president. I admire you, I respect you, and I love you. Si se puede, yes, you can. Ms. Linda Shark, it is my honor to present to you the class of 2020. I affirm that all of our graduates have successfully met graduation requirements for a diploma from the Jurupa Unified School District. Senior Falcons, congratulations on your accomplishments as graduates. On June 14, 1967, I was a 17 year old sitting on Falcon Field, listening to the speeches of my classmates, waiting to receive my diploma and thinking about my friends and whether we would ever see each other again once we turned our tassel and walked off the field. Because COVID-19 restrictions are preventing you from sitting in Hawkins Stadium today, it doesn't seem like graduation. You have already walked away from your friends and the school where you spent so much time. But those people are your lifelong friends and memories. Now, focus on the dreams you have and the goals you have set for yourself. Not even a detour such as you have had this year will prevent you from seeing each other again, I promise you. For the past four years, I have enjoyed making friends with many of you cheering you on to victory, helping you find and create your goals, and preparing you for the new world you are about to enter. I am sad that you were not able to enjoy all the events in your senior year, 
but you all forged through the new distance learning and made not only your parents proud, but also your administration and the Board of Education. Rubino now has accomplishments that each and every one of you has contributed to. Now you are ready to accomplish your goals and make your dreams come true. You will be forever a falcon. You are Rubido. So it gives me great honor and pleasure on behalf of the Board of Education of the Harupa Unified School District to accept the Rubido High School Class of 2020. And I ask at this time that they be awarded their diplomas. Congratulations, Falcons, and good luck. Our academic counselors will now read the names of the graduating class of 2020. Jesse Acuna. Ethan Aguilar. Kimberly Aguilar. Mele Acaola. Kimberly Aleman. Alexandra Alvarado. Genesis Alvarado. Luis Amezcua. Juan Antonio Santiago. Lisbeth Aragón Anguiano. Salvador Arambula. Monica Arrechiga. Marieli Ariguznaga Reyes. Jasmine Armas. Fátima Armola Olivares. Elia Alondra Arzate. Javier Avalos Vargas. Valeria Avila Uribe. Jaime Avila. Lisbeth Barrera. Jasmine Basilio. Kate Becker. Ramon Bejarano. Luis Beltran. Larry Berghaus. Damien Bernabe. Gerardo Berrumen. Geraldine Bravo Vega. Alexandra Briseno. Carlos Caballero. Jennifer De Jesus Cabrera Ramirez. Brian Cabrera. Miguel Caldera Santos. Victoria Calderon. Guadalupe Camarillo. Elisa Campanaro. Jesus Daniel Campos. Jesus Ulises Campos. Mario Campos. Joel Carrillo. Liliana Carrillo. Roy Carrillo. Daniel Castaneda. Alejandro Chagoyan. Benny Chavez. Jasmine Chavez. Jason Chavez. Rosa Chavez. Christopher Colchado Valdovinos. Isamar Coleman Mendez. Adrian Contreras. 
Oscar Contreras, Vanessa Cordova, Benjamin Cornejo, Diana Corona Jimenez, Yaretsi Cortez, Albert Cota, Vanessa Cruz Aguilar, Guadalupe Cruz Barroso, Benjamin Cuevas, Najai Daniels, Nicholas De La Cruz, Jocelyn De La O, Isaac De La Cruz, Jimmy Delgado, Julie Diaz, Cesar Dominguez, Andrea Elizalde, William Escobar, Alexa Espinosa Cardenas, Karime Espinosa, Carissa Espinosa, Martin Felix Felix. Giovanni Felix, Sabrina Fierro, Abraham Figueroa Flores, Daniel Flores Medina, Omar Flores, Reynaldo Flores, Abigail Fuentes, Asael Gallegos Plasencia, Isabel Galvez Mesa, Gil Garcia Chavez, Emily Garcia Trejo, Alondra Garcia. Clarissa Garcia, Diana Garcia, Gabriel Garcia, Jesus Garcia, Leslie Garcia, Neon Garcia. Yadira Garcia, Alexander Gastulom, Heidi Gil Zambrano, Isabel Gil, Brianna Gomez, Jacqueline Gomez. Vladimir Gomez, Juliana Gonzalez, Jose Gonzalez Lopez, Isaac Gonzalez Ramirez, Brianna Gonzalez Rangel, Guadalupe Guerrero. Kobe Bryant Guerrero, Miguel Quintron, Guadalupe Guizar Mendoza, Abigail Currola, Adán Gutiérrez, Vivian Gutiérrez. Alexander Guzman, Wayne Hackett, 
LaShawn Hamilton, Joel Hernandez Cordova, Blanca Juliet Hernandez Lopez, Cesar Hernandez Ochoa, Jaime Hernandez Rodriguez, Julian Hernandez, Navora Hernandez, Rocio Hernandez, Marquita Hood, Ashley Ivara, Saul Jaramillo, Aldo Jardines, Vincent Jimenez, Alyssa Jones, Ashton Kiggins, Ford Knight, Terrell Ladd, Fatima Luariano, Daniel Lazaro, Jessica Lascano, Thomas Ledesma, Jasmine Leva Guevara, Daisy Leva, Brian Lizarde Quinones, Fernando Llamas, Marissa Llamas, Juliana Lopez Rosales, Alisa Lopez Ruiz, Victor Lopez Vasquez, Cameron Lopez, Siana Lopez, Cristobal Lopez, Esteban Lopez, Herman Lopez, Jesus Lopez, Jose Lopez, Nancy Lopez, Regina Lopez, Vanessa Lopez, Victor Lopez, Yahaira Lopez, Anthony Lucero, Harold Lumar III, Melissa Maciel Muñoz, Miguel Madrigal, ELA Jamara Malone, Wendy Abigail Mandujano, Jorge Armando Manso, Nora Guadalupe Manso, Johnny Angel Marin, Daniel Marquez Marquez, Edgardo Devane Marquez, Evelyn Rose Marquez, Ayeri Martinez Fajardo, Danitza Martinez, Francisco Martinez, Julian Martinez Jr., Oscar Xavier Martinez, Madison Renee McCarty, Mackenzie McCarty, 
Leslie Mendes, Alejandro Mendoza, Sergio Mendoza, Jennifer Meneses, Miguel Angel Mercado, Roger Allen Mesa Jr. Jesús Orlando Montaño Nogues. Arlina Marie Morales. Jose Gabriel Moreno Baltazar. Savannah Lee Morse. Ethan Wyatt Mullins. Karen Murillo Vasquez. Jacqueline Murillo. Sharika Ariana Naik. Giovanna Paola Navarrete. Kaylee Newen. Keisha Newen. Eric Adrián Nieves. Bernice Ochoa Calderón. Robert Andy Ochoa. Brenda Olea. Emily Monique Cornelas. Andrés de Jesús Orozco Medina. Diana Laura Ortega Garcia. Emily Marie Ortega. Julio Ortiz. Karen Patel. Karina Patel. Juan Diego Peña Rodríguez. Joshua Alberto Peña. Jonathan Israel Pérez Bojorquez. Yvonne Atsiri Pérez Gutiérrez. Aileen Esmeralda Pérez. Jocelyn Pérez. Marco Emiliano Pérez. Sandy Guadalupe Pérez. Yetzabel Saraí Pérez. Daniel Steve Phillips. Juan Carlos Pimentel Jr. Amanda Noel Piña. Yolanda Pinedo. Leslie Marlene Plasencia López. Ricardo Alejandro Plasencia. Yasmin Porras Arellano. Monique Yesenia Quesada. Serena Elizabeth Quijada. Ángeles Cristel Quintana Rosales. Alessandra Ramírez. Alondra Juliana Ramírez. Giovanni Ramos López. Alexa Itzayana Ramos. Pedro Christopher Ramos. Yasmin Reyes Ontiveros. Pedro Pablo Reyes Jr. Rosario Reyes. Litsi Rincón Bedoya. Desiree Catalina Rincón. Adeline Rios. Ivan Robert Rios. Ruben Rivera. 
Fernando Robledo Lucio Rodríguez Cárdenas David Rodríguez Navarro Montserrat Rodríguez Magallón Brianna Rodríguez Christian Rodríguez Jesse Rodríguez Joshua Rodríguez Luis Rodríguez Cynthia Guadalupe Romero Andrea Rosales Daniel Rossetti Cruz Alejandra Ruiz Hernández Leslie Ruiz Natalie Ruiz Ali Saavedra Hernández Luis Sanz Alia Salazar Jocelyn Salazar Mia Salazar Emily Sanchez Avila Yamalet Sanchez Angie Sanchez Audre Sanchez Evelia Sanchez Catalina Sanchez Louis Sanchez Paul Sanchez Mark Santiago Debbie Shafe Williams Maria Solis Perez Violeta Solis David Tafoya Francisco Tavera Hernandez Francisco Tejada Alonzo Thomas Eric Pinajero Christian Torres Elizabeth Torres Natalie Torres Cesar Tovar Julie Tran Stephanie Ureña Nolan Uribe Leonardo Valencia Franco David Vasquez Cindy Vasquez Hernandez John Vasquez Giselle Velasquez Ortiz Giovanni Verduzco Jesús Vergara Julian Victorio Ricardo Villa Samantha Villa Mauricio Villarreal José Villegas López Nancy Vizcaíno Aaron Wieland Nigeria White Jason Wood 
Celine Yang. Eluvia Zacarias Gaspar. Luvia Samudio. Vanessa Zaragoza Garcia. Leslie Zavala. Yuritsi Termino Estrada. José Termino Hernández. Cassandra Zuniga. Congratulations, class of 2020. Please join the choir members in the singing of our alma mater. Our hearts delight to be with you. Praise and honor to your name. Throughout this mighty country, we'll spread your fame. Your guiding light shines over us. The glowing embers ne'er will die. And return our thoughts to Ruby Graduates, there is one last tradition for the class of 2020 to share. The ceremonial moving of your tassel, although small in action, symbolizes your passing from the past growth and accomplishments to a future of hope and promise. Graduates of 2020, you may now move your tassels from the right side of your caps to the left side. Congratulations, class of 2020. This concludes this year's ceremony, but please stay tuned for the post show immediately following. <laughs> Assemblymember Sabrina Cervantes, and I want to congratulate the class of 2020. 
I know that much has been asked of each of you to stay home, to sacrifice social gatherings, milestone celebrations like graduation ceremonies. Although these ceremonies have been postponed, that does not take away the value of your achievements. We all know how hard you have worked to get to this highly anticipated moment. And I want you all to look forward to what the future holds for you. Whether you have committed to a college, university, career technical program, enlisted into our nation's military, or are still undecided, know that you have the potential to shape the future of our community, of our state, and of our nation. Like your families, your teachers, administrators, and your community, I am so proud of you. You have everything you need within you, always. Stay strong. Congratulations, class of 2020. Your assembly member is always rooting for you. So I started off as a coach at Rubido and I started substitute teaching there and two years later became a full on teacher and I've been there ever since. So this is my 10th year teaching. I was first hired as a teacher in 1985. The only high school in the district was Rubido High School. And so I taught there for four years. I've been teaching PE for the last uh, 22 years in the district. Because Rubido is one of the one of the oldest high schools in Riverside County. I want to say 57 might have been when Rubido was open. I'm not 100% sure. Rubido High School is a legacy school unlike any other. Uh, it, is, uh, it is as tiered as uh, museums. It is as uh, treasured as um, a priceless work of art. I mean, there, there's only one Rubido. There's no other place like it.
the student body at Riverdale has always been amazing. I had the pleasure of being part of the student body for four years in my day, but since I've been back as a teacher, I've just immensely loved the spirit that the kids bring. A lot of these students have been together, like most students at Harupa Unified, they've been together since elementary school and they've formed very deep bonds. And one thing I do really like with um, the Rubido kids is that they're very genuine and, and, and very sincere. And, uh, you know, we talk about layers of an onion, but there's not too many layers there. They'll let you know pretty quick. With the Falcons, with the students at Rubido, I, I see the hardships that they go through. I see what they do after school and how they can leave it at the door and they can be completely present in the lesson because they respect you that much that they know you put forth so much effort. They want to be there for that lesson. So just the resilience of these students, they are phenomenal students. They are the best. I feel like it's maybe a hidden gem. I just think the school pride is really, really strong at Ubido. They're the only school that has a state championship. The students graduate from our campus and they become doctors and they become firemen and they become become, uh, mayors and politicians. They become world-class athletes, world-class athletes. They become military officers. They become soldiers of valor. They become... They become, they become. You know, it's hard to see them grow up as fast as they do too, because I see them sophomore year, two years later, they're seniors and they're graduating. And that always makes me kind of sad because it just happens so fast. And I don't know if they realize how fast it was. I think it's always important to remember where you came from because it's such a foundation of who you become. Sometimes our past helps us to see more clearly. And so again, it doesn't dictate who we're going to be, but I think it is supposed to be a contemplative part of who we want to become. It's not the walls or the hallways, the rooms, um, the desks, the books. It's always been the people, whether it was the students, whether it was staff, whether it was administrators, parents, uh, everybody who makes that school what it is. It's the black and gold heart. This is my 10th year teaching, and every year, even some of the most difficult classes and some of the most difficult situations that we've gone through, it it always gets to this point. By the end of the year, we're very close. Even if they don't come back and visit like they say they will, we're we're still very close. Rubidoux is, you know, a force of people who want to do better and make the world better. Uh, The kids have kept me here at Rubidoux. They keep me real. It's an ironclad pillar, I think, in a person's soul, uh, what, what that school builds. Uh, they, they, were a, they were a good bunch of kids. There's some, uh, I wish I was half the students they were. Um, I'd be better off now if I was. So um, they, they, they shared with me a lot uh, of their things they learned, and, and it was really touching and, and neat to see, to see that. This is just the first step in your journey, and we are so excited for you. Know that all your teachers are proud of you, um, the community is proud of you, uh, your parents are proud of you. As you go off on your unique journeys throughout life, remember to grow from your experiences. I hope that you're able to look back at Rubida with fondness. It's about the memories that will never fade. May all the lessons learned while at Rubido serve as strong stepping stones to a wonderful future. As you move on with all that the world has to offer, I would like to suggest that you surround yourself with joy-filled opportunities. Our hearts are filled with pride for you guys, and we miss you guys terribly, and we wish you the best. I know you'll be successful, and my MA students, I love you. Mwah! You are strong and resilient. We are going to miss you and we wish you all the very best. I wish all of you a very successful life ahead and I will advise you to follow your dream and never give up. When you think of leaving Rubidoux, remember not to be sad. Think of how lucky you are to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Regardless of where you end up, of what you end up doing, do it well and do it with pride. Fly on, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, seniors. Hey, Falcons, wherever you go, go with your heart. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo!